Hi everyone, Jeremy Blum here with a review and build log for the Inventables Shapoko 2 CNC mill. This is a build-it-yourself CNC mill. It comes as a kit that you can assemble. It's very expandable and customizable. And the whole thing is open source hardware, which is really cool. So I'll uh, walk you through the build process, show you how I put the machine together, show it in action, milling some wood uh, and using its marker to do some plotting. And then uh, I'll talk about the software and how it all comes together. If you're new to 3D milling, you can use Easel, an online app created by Inventables that makes it easy to create a design to be 3D milled. In my case, I was making a name plaque for my girlfriend Leah, who you saw helping in the video. After you create the object, all you have to do is follow the simple steps, which include measuring the thickness of material, securing it to the platform, choosing your bit so that it knows what diameter bit you're using, homing the machine to the bottom left corner of the material so it's just on top of the material that you want to mill, and then turning on the spindle and hitting go. Once you hit go, it'll track the progress and control the machine directly from your browser, and it's easy to stop it in the event that something goes wrong. I ordered the Shapoko 2 CNC mill as a kit, so it came with all the parts that I needed to put it together. On the side of the machine, you can see the Arduino Uno that uses the main controller, as well as the G-Shield that's mounted on top of it. This is responsible for receiving G-code commands that are used to control the machine from the computer. There's an X, Y, and Z axis. The Z axis moves an attached uh, bit up and down. In my case, I'm using a Dremel type tool that came with the machine. You can mount arbitrary bits in the end of the Dremel and use that to do your CNC milling. You can choose different bit sizes depending on what materials you're trying to cut and the level of precision you want. In this video, I'll just focus on milling wood with the machine, but you can also use it to mill one or two-sided printed circuit boards. You can order stock circuit board um, bare boards from Inventables along with the drill bit and carving set that you need to mill out a simple PCB. Uh, hopefully in a future video, I'll show that in action. The kit comes with a really nice reusable toolkit that includes a lot of the tools that you'll need to build the machine, including 
wrenches, Allen wrenches, lubricants, drill bits, nuts, bolts, all that good stuff. Because the Shea Poco 2 uh, and many of the other things from Inventables are open source hardware, there's a thriving community of people building expansion systems for them online. Here's a 3D printed marker holder that I found online and modified slightly to uh, do some pen plotting. And here you can find the uh, 3D printed part that I used to mount the control board onto the side of the CNC mill. In general, Eventables did a really good job of providing me with all the tools that I would need to be able to build this kit successfully. All the instructions that they provided online were very clear and generally quite accurate with very detailed pictures. In a bunch of locations, they showed areas where you could build the machine in different ways depending on your preferences. For example, I chose to mount my electronics on the Y-axis gantry, uh, which was only one of a couple ways that you could do it. And I chose this option because I thought it would make the wiring the cleanest. During the assembly process, there was basically only one point where I had major issues following the instructions, and that was when I had to tap threaded holes into the end of the aluminum bars that make up the X and Y axis of the machine. In order to get the bolts in from the end, you need to uh, tap some holes in, uh, and while they did provide a screw tap, which was very nice, um, they did not provide any lubricant. Uh, so I tried to do it the first time without lubricant, which as most people familiar with tapping holes know is a bad idea, and of course I managed to break the tap in half in the extrusion. Um, but I called Inventables, they apologized, and they sent over a new bar and um, some cutting fluid, which made it very, very easy. So I definitely recommend that if you're planning to build this machine or a similar one, that you definitely uh, lubricate your tap before you try to tap holes into the aluminum bars. Another part of the assembly process that was a little bit awkward was mounting the Dremel rotary cutting tool into the Z axis holder. It's a little hard to get it in there straight up and down. You can actually see that I had to put some folded paper in there to get the alignment back and forth to be just right so that when it was cutting into the wood or any other material that it did it straight up and down and didn't make cuts at an angle. Now, while I was in the process of building and reviewing and starting to use this machine, Inventables actually released the X-Carve, which is their newest CNC mill that actually replaces the uh, Shea Poco 2 that I'm showing here. They do offer an upgrade kit that makes it pretty easy to upgrade the Shea Poco 2 to basically match an X-Carve. And my understanding from looking at it is that they fixed all of the issues that the Shea Poco 2 had, namely that it's kind of hard to calibrate, uh, the issues with getting the spindle to be perfectly up and down, they've replaced that by supplying their own spindle now instead of a rotary tool. Um, and overall the machine just looks a lot more professional, easier to put together, uh, and easier to keep calibrated. That being said though, the Shea Poco 2 has been serving me really well so far. I'm very happy with the machine. I'm extremely impressed by Inventable's level of customer service, uh, as well as the documentation and open source nature of the design. I'm very happy with the CNC mill, and I'm looking forward to continuing to use it. Thanks for watching my review of the Inventables Shea Poco 2 CNC mill. I hope you enjoyed it. And go over to Inventables' website and check out the X-Carve, which is their new version of their open source CNC milling platform. If you have any questions, feel free to ping me on Twitter, SciGuy14, or visit me on Facebook. Thanks a lot for watching.